It's a whole new world for high school and college athletes who can now make money off their name, image, and likeness. Reporter Nicole Lee sat in on an education session on the topic. She joins us now in the studio with much more. Nicole? Sean, while it's new and exciting, the NIL landscape can also be described as the wild, wild west, as some local young athletes learn tonight. They know how to succeed on the court and field. Many have an enormous following on social media, but most high school athletes don't know how to market their personas. With name, image, and likeness rules allowing these athletes to earn money, 100 black men hosted an event Friday to help them learn the complicated ins and outs. Name, image, and likeness is something that is continuing to grow month by month, really day by day. Um, and with over $20 million that's going to go within the name, image, and likeness space um, just through this year alone is very important for people to have the education. Cam Carter, an experienced athlete brand manager, addressed the athletes, coaches and parents gathered at Erie Bank Sports Park Gymnasium, providing some history and advice about NIL. Organizers hope that young athletes come away from the presentation knowing their worth and knowing the rules. Every kid has the ability to reach over at least 10 countries by themselves just with engagement off of social media alone. So being, un being able to understand that regardless of what your following looks like, it actually makes sense for you to take advantage of you being that big fish in a small pond. Erie High School soccer star Bonaire Katongo wants to play for Penn State in the fall. He says college athletes need a way to make ends meet when they're away from home. He got he got to go to school, go to work out, go to do his school, everything. Like so, he need extra money for it. While all college athletes are eligible to make money off their name, image, and likeness, currently 60% of earnings in this arena are going to football players. Sean? Nicole Lee reporting tonight. Thank you, Nicole.